I, as you can probably see, there's a huge package beside me, and it is half filled with books. Half filled with strange air packets. I went ahead and divided the books into a booktube induced pile and a personal interest pile. Of course, I do have a personal interest in the booktube induced pile, but I especially got these because of great reviews of these uh, that I saw here on booktube. First off, we have The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, which I got due to uh, Hardback Books Please um, review. And uh, there's been a huge hype about this on booktube, so I'm sure you've heard about this so, so much. I don't need to say anything about it. Here's We the Drowned by Kirsten Jensen. I first saw this mentioned in Books and Quills book haul some time ago. Her attention was really caught by the cover, which is awesome-tastic. But what really, really got me into buying it is the title, We the Drowned. I think it's the best title ever. Liz Love's Literature is to Blame for Me Getting Shades of Grey by Jasper Ford. Her review was really nice. She had lots of uh, positive things to say about this. And uh, I'm really curious to see how Jasper Ford develops the idea at the base of this novel, which is that uh, the population has been divided into different classes depending on the colors they can see. And here we have Fangirl and Attachments by Rainbow Rowell which I got after hearing Sarah Parasol praise Rainbow Rowell to the heavens. She was really fond of Attachments, while Fangirl is the most widely known and loved book, so I'm really interested to see if these are gonna live up to the hype. In the personal interest file we have uh, A Long Way Down by Nick Hornby. He's supposed to be a humorous writer and I really need a lighter read from time to time, so this seemed like the ideal option. Everything is Illuminated by Jonathan Safran Foer. Foer is one of my favorite writers, although I have read just one book by him, so I really needed to put him to the test, and uh, I'm starting by reading Everything is Illuminated. Also, on a more superficial note, I love this cover. People have lots to say about uh, movie book covers, but I am in love with this. The Razor's Edge by Somerset Maugham. I really like the way Maugham um, writes about his point of view on uh, all the issues he tackles in his books. So as soon as I read The Painted Deal, I was like, I need more Somerset Maugham, and so I got it. Aldous Huxley, The Brave New World. I think everybody and their mother knows about Aldous Huxley and uh, uh, The Brave New World. So I don't need to say anything uh, other than the fact that I've never read this, so I had to get it. Also, I was interested in reading something less famous by Aldous Huxley, so I got Eyeless Sengaza, Gaza, which is based on his uh, personal experiences. The Thousand Autumns of Jakob de Zoot by David Mitchell. I hope I'm pronouncing the main character's name right, but I have no idea. Uh, David Mitchell is the author of Cloud Atlas, and I wanted to get Cloud Atlas, but I've seen the movie, so I feel like I've been spoiled beyond repair, so I opted for The Thousand Autumns. Keep House by Edward Carey. It's recently become popular here on booktube as well, I think, but I got this before I ever saw any reviews about it, so that's why it's in the personal interest file. The idea of a family having built their uh, house on the rubbish piles uh, around London was just brilliant to me, and I thought whoever came up with that deserves for me to buy their book. The Pigeon by Patrick Suskind. I loved perfume, so I wanted to read The Pigeon as well. It's as simple as that, and this is so tiny, it's gonna take no time at all if it's good. Last but not least, as far as I know, by Roger McGow, who is a contemporary poet. They're saying really good things about him on Goodreads, and I love poetry, so I had to get this. Although this was the most expensive book out of the bunch that I bought, it was £13, 12 99 actually, I don't feel like I wasted any money. So, I'm happy. That's all the books I have for today. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna stay here, chill out with my loved ones, and I'll see you next time. Bye!